Hey everyone and welcome to The Rush. We have a great show coming up for you today. I'm Fiona Forbes. So the kick is on one. And that's on three. And the snare is on three. And that's on four. Okay. So one, two, three, four. One, I can barely count. Okay, I'll and try. guest right now and uh, he's right here well it's crystal head vodka really with the man behind it mr. Dan Aykroyd of course you know him how are you my friend great Fiona this is our bottle joy and last time uh, I talked to you we touched on Ghostbusters uh, the yeah. new film where is that at right now oh very good shape we got a great script and uh, hope to be shooting in the spring we hope you are too and uh, I'm gonna enjoy this fabulous cocktail with mr. Aykroyd thank you so much you talk about names that you see on the album Ozzy Osbourne Iggy Pop, you've got Fergie, uh, Adam Levine. You'd think that that would be a logistical nightmare. Um, it worked out great. It was really easy. It, um, uh, I, I never even stopped to think that I was putting together, you know, really what it turned out to be 19 different singers. Let me be a cameraman for a minute. So, Michael, what is your favorite tune to make Sweet Love to? Um, that song by ABBA. You're so hot. What is it like backstage at a Steel Panther show? <laughs> we can't hear that. You guys, how do you crank it up to 11? I need to know. I need some party advice. Well, like what time is it right now? Who cares? Uh, well, look, I'm the only guy drinking beer here, first of all. <laughs> that's like your problem. What is Ball's talk? Um... Ballstock. <laughs> I never do a sports interview without asking an awkward question, and this is that moment, Steve. Ballstock. Well, um, I had a coach when I was a rookie who would like to put his foot on your armrest. Please um, don't dance. No, no. And he'd, he'd like to have a conversation with you. <laughs> Well, well, Mike really wanted to me. see your underwear picture. Well, then when I'm wearing these, I expect to look similar to. Do this the abs guy. come with the underwear, or is that? That's not airbrush, by the way. No. <laughs> we had Kessler on our show a couple weeks ago. Terrible um, underwear, right? The yeah. underwear. Because <laughs> he claims that that was unphotoshopped. Yeah. He said no photoshopping yeah, on that photo. Don't, don't, don't listen to that. It's photoshopped <laughs> by far, and everybody knows that he, he's not that good looking. Oh, boxers or briefs was the other one all the girls want to know for you. Because we know about Kessler's underwear. Everybody wants to know about yours. No, I like the yeah, Saks nice. underwear. Those are my favorite ones. <laughs> Saks prevent the boys from contact with the inner legs and offer friction-free support when needed. It must be such a great line to play on you in the city. Oh, it's fun. They're such nice guys, too. That they're the best guys ever. Do they communicate so telepathically? <laughs> I'm like dolphins, convinced. they say. Like dolphins. <laughs> like dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's always saying. They like dolphins. I think that was my language. dumb sports question. <laughs> and we've got some balls. Oh. It's going to be a first for me. I've never seen a kangaroo move. Well, now I've seen kangaroo poo. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, we had goats. What are you doing? I don't know if it's a male or female. <laughs> Michael? Which one? Do you want to check? This please? one? Yes, please. <laughs> Come on, me darling. Come on, I know. This one's jealous. This is a girl. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's this? What's this? Guys, I'm 5'9. 5'7. 5'9. They're low, they're subtle, they're functional, reasonable. They won't make me 10 feet taller than my co host, so they're perfect. Hey, Don't right? put it on the pull floor. It yeah! Uh, yeah! You did it. Except I got this yeah. part. Oh, careful. Watch Michael's head. <laughs> everybody into the bowl. And we everybody, got a nice... Everybody. And for everybody those of you in. who watched We've... The Walking Dead last night, <laughs> I just found out Eric Estrada wore a onesie. <laughs> and our next guest has shattered me for life. Of course, uh, we're chatting with Colin Ferguson from Eureka. We're on set here. And uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, well, because I, I wear a sheriff's uniform all the time. And no, so, really? <laughs> yeah. What is this and what is it used for? <laughs> this right here He's going to uh, show was his onesie. Ah, this is Sheriff Andy's chair. Oh, and didn't Bigfoot make a reference to liking Vampire Marcus? Uh, Wasn't he this did. an he internet did. He sensation? He said that that was the only thing that he liked about the, the, the whole Twilight thing. Series. Yeah, is that he, he just said he looks at him with a very dry uh, stare and he just says, yeah, I, well, I like Marcus. Margaret uh, Atwood wrote a great foreword in your book called The Legacy. Very, very nice. Yeah, very lovely. And she said, you know, you spent a few years being Mr. Doom and Gloom, but you're looking at the positive <laughs> now. Why do you think looking at the positive on our future is important rather than focusing? It's really easy to focus on the negative because you've done so much damage. But fear is. Very 
very good to get people's attention. With the documentary, you obviously won the Oscar for An Inconvenient Truth. It brought a lot of change, a lot of conversation, a lot of dialogue. And now with this, how does that make you feel? I mean, yeah. with the work that you're doing, you're actually getting people to make positive changes in the world. Well, that's the exciting thing about making documentaries is the award stuff is fun, but the actual affecting the world is very exciting. Hi, I'm Fiona Forbes. And I'm Michael Eckford. We trust you're enjoying tonight's WHL broadcast. Catch her. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Hi, I'm Fiona Forbes. And I'm Michael Eckford. A little birdie told me you're enjoying tonight's WHL broadcast. I won't laugh this time. Catch her. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Friday. One more time. Ready. <clears throat> I am Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> I want my go. mommy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, really. At least say something before you start laughing. And now my upper lip is stuck. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fiona Forbes. And I'm Michael Eckford. We hope you're enjoying tonight's WHL broadcast. Catch Urban Rush tonight at 11 o'clock when we chat with the Golden Compass cinematographer Robert McLaughlin. And Comedy Meets Folk with the Good Asian Drivers Tour. Back to hockey.